Elite sports coaches are always looking for new insights into their team's performance. You may have heard about sabermetrics in baseball, originally developed in the 1970s and popularized in the book and film Moneyball. In essence, it's about making decisions based upon quantitative performance metrics rather than relying on age-old coaching hunches or coaching intuitions about the game. With the rise of low-cost position tracking devices, we could be on the verge of a new revolution in sports performance analysis. Specifically, in Australia, all AFL players now wear GPS tracking devices on their back during each match. Currently, these tracking devices are being used by sports performance analysts to analyse individual players. Things like how far did the player run or what was their maximum speed. But teamwork is about more than one player. What if we could use these devices to quantify the team dynamics as a whole? Things like which formations lead to goals or how do these formations change over time or are there any other pl players that are out of formation? Initially, I tried training a machine learning classifier on AFL matches played at the MCG to learn which formations are most likely to score a goal. Unfortunately, there weren't enough game events from the MCG alone to discover interesting patterns. All it learned was that, unsurprisingly, the team is more likely to score when they're close to the goalposts. The difficulty is that we are dealing with very little labelled data. Even though AFL is considered a fast paced sport, a typical team only scores about 20 to 30 times over the course of any given sports match. Thus, my research has turned towards how can we integrate data from many different sports fields into a common reference frame to permit comparisons. It isn't as simple as it sounds. In AFL, Every sports field has a different shape, size, and orientation. Although I've already partially solved this problem months ago by writing a pipeline of messy custom scripts to munch together my specific data sources, I'm trying to model this process in a generalized way that will allow sports performance analysts, my domain experts in this project, to assemble a pipeline for their specific game and their specific data set.